so we're a two form entry uh, primary school from reception up to year six in West Sussex. So just we're the only primary school in the village. So we've got a mix of children. We've previously had really good engagement in school. So the events we've run in school, the children have really enjoyed and have been really excited about across the board. But what I wanted to do differently this year was try and get parents involved and um, having thought quite a lot about science capital. And part of that is children talking to their families um, and valuing science at home. That's, that's what we wanted to do differently. So in previous years, we tried to hold an exhibition and get parents in, but we didn't have a very high engagement rate. So that's why I've tried a slightly different tack this year. I used the grant from the British Science Association to run two events um, for families. One was a family science night um, where we had 40 spaces for children and adults and the children had to come with their with a parent or family member um, and we did some activities actually based on a really good book called Look Up, um, highly recommend it and we did, um, so we had them in after school, we gave them snacks, um, we tried to make the advertising really like you don't need to know anything about science to join in and we sent the advert first out to our people premium families and after a few days, we sent it out to everybody else and it was um, more than doubly subscribed. So I'm going to run a second. I'm going to have to run two, two or three more of them um, to fit everybody in. But we had really lovely engagement from parents who haven't traditionally engaged very much in school. And I think it's maybe because the children knew from previous years that Science Week's usually really good. But previously the parents so they've managed to somehow get, persuade their parents to come along so that was the one event that we ran um which obviously wasn't everyone in school it was um a selection of families um and the other event was that we put together some family science bags in paper in brown paper bags um, and sent them home to every single child in the school so different bits of kit so that, and some instructions so that they can have a go at doing some science bits at home. In our family science night, so we use this book, Look Up. I've forgotten the author, sorry. Um, but we use the book, Look Up, and um, we, it was, we did a bit of thinking about it. And I, got, I used the money that we got in the grant to buy some telescope kits. And so every family made a fully functioning telescope, um, which was brilliant. And then we also made bottle rockets um, where you um, put vinegar in a, you know, they decorated the bottles and designed them. And you, the basic premise is you put some vinegar in the bottle and then a packet of bicarbonate soda, and then you stop it up with a cork and then it shoots off outside. Um, so yeah, we had a lot of fun with that. And also something I wouldn't I wouldn't have been doing that either of those activities without all the parents involved because it was a bit too fiddly to make telescopes. You know, you needed you needed lots of adults involved. And with the bottle rockets, you really want to make sure that they're not combining those things indoors. So it was really good to have the parents there. Um, and then they got to take them home, both the telescope and the bottle rockets home. So hopefully they could continue those conversations at home. And then I ran a photo competition to try and really make it really low bar for entry they had to submit a photo of them using their science kit and one question that they had asked about the science so it could be really simple like it, it could just be can you get more drops of water on a 1p coin or a 5p coin and a photo um, and we haven't we've not quite closed that competition so then we've got um, some prizes to give out um, and the idea was to make it really easy for parents so like not intimidating because when we've done competitions that have been like poster making kind of science fair things it feels like quite a high bar for entry or that you're more likely to win if your parents know about science and can help you more that anyone can ask a question and take a photo um, and that's what we wanted to see we just wanted to see the children having a really nice time at home 
you know, talking about science. So I would say make it really low bar that, that the parents don't feel like they need to know anything. They don't feel like they're going to be tested on anything. Um, <laughs> so that it's like really non-intimidating because um, a fair number of parents will have not had positive experiences themselves at school with science. So really trying to make it um, easy to access. Um, and also, if you can get the children engaged, if, the, if, if you can get the children really keen, they will drag their parents along. If they think they're going to miss out on shooting off bottle rockets or something, they're going to be really keen to get those parents involved. So, yeah, if you can if you can build some enthusiasm in school and then and then get the parents involved, um, I think that works really well. Mm -hmm.